telling stories that no one believes, stories of I, uh, I work in uh, sales support for Canada. <laughs> no fan of Canada here, jeez. <laughs> Drinking haterade on the great white north. Okay, um, I wrote this the other day based on a recent experience. <laughs> on the phones. Here we go. Oh, Canadian FedEx lady. <laughs> the way you giggled when you caught me beatboxing to your hold music after you tracked my customer's package made me want to forever renounce my American citizenship and move to Canada. Oh, Canadian FedEx lady. <laughs> if you were half as cute as the entire city of Vancouver, British Columbia seemed the last time I toured through Canada, then you are so very cute. Especially if you are also short and wear cat's eye glasses, because short cute girls who wear cat's eye glasses so kick my ass. Oh, Canadian FedEx lady. <laughs> The fact that you mentioned how cool it was that Bob Marley's Buffalo Soldier was playing on my old music when I had to talk to my stupid American customer who was rude and mean as most American customers tend to be unlike most Canadian customers who seem every bit as polite as you makes me think that you are cool too because I like Bob Marley only I hope you don't like Barb Marley too much, as in not enough to be a smelly, nasty hippie who also likes crappy jam bands like Mo and leftover salmon and fish and Mo. Oh, Canadian FedEx lady. I love that you said Z when you said the last letter in the alphabet. And I love how you end most of your questions with A. And I love that you asked me for my customer's postal code, then giggled and apologized and said, Oh, duh, you guys say zip code, A. Eh? And I imagine. <laughs> I imagine when you said that, you shyly tucked your long hair behind your ear and rolled your big anime eyes. And I'll bet those eyes were as blue as the Great Hudson Bay, only deeper and warm. Or better yet, green like Calgary bluegrass in the summertime, only they wouldn't make me sneeze. Or hazel with little yellow flecks orbiting your irises like the lights of Toronto reflecting from the surface of Lake Ontario. And even if your eyes are brown, like mine. And I hate mine, Canadian FedEx lady. I'll bet they'd be the loveliest shade of brown since... Pudding. And I love pudding. Oh, Canadian FedEx lady, I also love Rush. I love Neil Young. I love Joni Mitchell. I love... Canadian bacon. Although you probably just call it... Bacon. Unless you're a vegetarian, in which case, stupid bacon! I hate you, bacon! Oh. I wish I had given you my website so you could check out my poetry and see that I am witty and I am charming and I will be on HBO's Deaf Poetry on July 29th at 11.30 p.m. with most deaf Alicia Keys in common. Absolutely shameless. Absolutely shameless. But true. And we could have used your employee discount to send each other mix CDs for free that would have made us go crazy in love with each other. And the next time I was in Canada, we could have met in a cafe and gazed lovingly into each other's pudding brown eyes. Bob Marley played over the coffee house stereo system, and we held hands and smiled and sighed. But I didn't. And now... I will never, ever meet you, Canadian FedEx lady. And I will never know what color your eyes are when it rains, or what you think of this poem I just wrote for you five minutes after we finished our call, as I kept my stupid, rude, mean American customer on hold the entire time.